Dead Survival. I have gotten a lot of views on my ice house, uh, my homemade ice house video, and I got a comment today actually on um, a viewer wanted the ice house kind of set up and for me to tell him about how it works in detail. So that's what I'm going to do today. As you can see, it's not very tall. It's uh, four feet tall and uh, three and a half feet wide. And as well as being four feet tall as of right now, that means it's going to be four feet long also. It was designed to sit in the back of my car between my wheel wells in my trunk. So that's really, really easy transportation. Um, I can just throw it into my vehicle. And it's reasonably thin too. It's probably five inches max on how how thin it is. So, uh, Alright everybody, so here it is. I brought you guys off the tripod. Um, it is just the ice house and then you need a four foot uh, pole. It can be a two by four or whatever, but um, just a four foot pole. And that actually is what holds it up. I'll show you guys how it works here. Um, as you can see, there's a strap on the front. So you can pull it out on the lake as well as there's a window which you guys seen in the first in the first video. So I'm just gonna set it up here. Put you guys Alright, so here we go. Um, it's really really quick and easy for setup wise. Um, it's a plywood front and it is uh, just quarter inch plywood so it makes it pretty light. It's not it's durable enough but I would say if you want something to really last, you should use a heavier duty plywood. But it's gonna it's heavy as is, so it'll be a lot heavier. But the setup for this is pretty simple. As you can see, the sides, which are just a uh, a tarp, any old tarp would, would work. Uh, one side's blue, one side's gray. I stuck the gray side on the outside, and then the blue's on the inside. But um, the tarp folds in, so it tucks under. But when you pull it out, it just pops out. And the, the front portion of the ice shack sits on the back portion. And it just pulls the slack out of it. Set it up in a triangle. And then use your four foot pole. Make sure I'm getting this on video. There we go. Okay. Use the four foot pole. Open the door up. How I keep the tarp on the uh, ice house here is I used um, just some of that cheap plywood that has the layers in it and I just wrap this around about this far and shot it with the with a nail gun all the way around and then just cut off the extra slack. Here we are at the front of the ice house as you can see the lamp kind of hurts the camera. There we go. Here's the front of it. You got the door there and once again like I said for the back it's just hooked up with the with the strips of plywood here. It opens up but it has hinges on there I have the, they're the spring hinges, so when it opens, it automatically closes, which is cool. You never have to worry about locking it from behind or having to fiddle with it when you're going to go out of it for a little bit and walk around or do whatever. Um, and then when I did the front of this, I, it was one piece, three by four, four high, three in width, and I cut it this way put the hinges on and then cut it the rest of the three sides with the skill saw and um, that's a carpenter trick that my dad t taught me All right. Let's see. All right. as you can see the pole on the top is what holds it all together um, if you're a little bit of a taller person you might want to move it over to the side and have two poles in there and then I put this piece of plywood on the inside so when it comes back 
it doesn't come in too far or anything and then this just pushes in so that no one could get in if it was a problem or anything this here this is an extra backing piece just because with those um, hinges you're gonna want some more support here and then this one supports down here and is rusty against the concrete as well as you guys can see and the reason why it's built up a little bit is because the front gets folded down second the last fold as you guys can tell when I unfolded it the back piece here was folded down on top of the bottom so it's the bottom piece then this folds down and then the front folds down on top of this board um, this board here is screwed right to the bottom piece of plywood there was no issue with this board at all um, and the hinge just sits in the crack there as you guys can see and then as far as the supports go underneath Got the front one, the two around the hole, because you got to walk around the hole. Um, on the front, where like the front of your legs for the chair would sit, and then on the back, where the back of the chair legs would sit. That Alright, well I hope this really helped any of you that had the same question that he did about how the whole hinges worked. Um, I'm going to just, for one last thing, I'm going to put you back on the tripod and fold it up. So you can understand why um, the front one has to be raised up. And all it has to be raised up, I don't know if I told you this, all it has to be raised up is the amount that that one creates. So that's like a quarter inch. This one only technically has to be raised up a quarter of an inch just so it can clear that one there. And it's really simple and it sounds like it's not, but it is. <laughs> so it's actually pretty easy also. You unhook the board that's up top. You unhook it from the back and just kind of guide the back in. You can let it drop. It does most of the work for you. What happens is it gets kind of caught with all the tarp. So you just have to grab some of the tarp, give it a little tug, both sides. this helped a lot of you out if you had any questions with the ice house um, if I didn't make something clear just let me know and I'll make a little update video or try to help you through commenting um, thanks everybody for watching the Joe and Zach survival channel and have a fun time fishing